Well, there's a new treatment now for people with glaucoma, and it's called canaloplasty. It's a minimally invasive procedure. It reduces the infection and bleeding. With us today, Dr. David Richardson, who will explain about this breakthrough surgery and what it's all about. Thanks for being with us. Uh, thank you, and First good afternoon. First of all, what is glaucoma? What happens uh, in your eye when uh, you have it? It's a very good question. Glaucoma is actually the second leading cause of blindness in the world, but uh, it's a silent disease. Mm -hmm. There are no symptoms uh, until it's, it's really too late. Uh, so unlike the other two leading causes of blindness, cataract and macular degeneration, it, it really doesn't get a lot of awareness. Um, similar, more, to, more like uh, diabetes or high blood pressure, where the treatments often are more bothersome than the disease itself until it gets to that end stage point. Uh, glaucoma is caused by a high pressure in the eye and we feel that the pressure is elevated simply because the drainage system in the eye gets clogged up. So most of the treatments are really geared toward creating a new drainage system or using medications to either reduce the amount of fluid in the eye that's produced or help that fluid find a way out of the eye. Uh, but until recently, there's been no way to actually just treat the natural drainage system and, and get it to start working again. So that's where you come in with what, what's called canaloplasty, is that right? That's right. Canaloplasty is, is one of a new generation of what we'd call minimally invasive surgeries for the eye. Uh, it's, it's very similar to uh, angioplasty, and mm -hmm. in fact, some have actually called it angioplasty for the eye. Uh, what it involves is creating a small flap just underneath the eyelid on the white part of the eye, so there's nothing to be seen by the patient. Then a very small catheter, in fact it's the world's smallest catheter, is used to open up that drainage system with a special gel called viscoelastic. And then just like with angioplasty where stents are left, a suture is used to then stent open the canal, which is again the body's natural drainage system. So there's no additional uh, hole placed in the eye, uh, you're really just opening up the drainage system that uh, was there before. Now does this stop the progression of glaucoma or does it actually help to heal and reverse the symptoms? That's a very good question. The problem with glaucoma is that when damage is done, it's permanent. Mm -hmm. And to date we have no real way to reverse the damage. So it's absolutely critical that we treat glaucoma before the vision has been lost. So of course in order to do that we have to find that which requires the proper screening. But up until just recently the only surgical treatments that were available were really withheld until the end stages of glaucoma when significant vision had already been lost. And the reason for that is that the older style surgeries, trabeculectomy, uh, what are called uh, shunts or tubes, were, were simply just too risky uh, to provide for somebody at an earlier stage. Mm -hmm. Canaloplasty is, is now opening up that opportunity to people to allow them to get uh, a long-term treatment, successful surgical treatment, at an earlier stage before they've lost vision. So candidates for this particular procedure would be someone who fits in that case, uh, someone discovers this early enough, and, and does age matter? You know, it does, actually. Uh, the traditional glaucoma surgery, trabeculectomy, is not a good surgery for uh, certain subsets of people. So for instance, uh, younger people who tend to have a greater healing response do not do as well with trabeculectomy. Trabeculectomy, which does have a, a failure rate over time, is not a good option for somebody who you need to keep uh, that pressure down for many decades. Uh, other subsets, uh, people who are highly myopic or nearsighted, tend not to do well with trabeculectomy. And then African Americans also do not do well with trabeculectomy. So canaloplasty, however, does work just as well for all of those as uh, for anyone else with the open angle type of glaucoma. So I, I should probably mention a little something about the angle uh, so that people understand what, what is meant by that. There are two main types of glaucoma, open angle and closed angle glaucoma. And we can see this here. This here is the angle. This would be the cornea here. I've taken it off to make it easy to see. But the angle is the structure between the cornea and the iris. And the canal that we're opening is right here in mm -hmm. that angle. Now you need the angle to be open for canaloplasty to work so that the fluid can get to that open canal. 
Uh, so people who have closed or narrow angle glaucoma are not good candidates for canaloplasty. Fascinating right. stuff. Thank you, doctor. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure. And for more information about glaucoma and the latest treatments, just go to our website, kcal9.com. Click on Seen on TV. We've got a link there. Get you more information about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dr. David Richardson, thanks.